Here's the chapter six project. First of all, I want you to find a teacher web page that you like that you think is used properly for your classroom communication. And most are listed on our school websites. And then you link that one that you select to your chapter six page and clearly mark it uh, what you like about it. Okay, so let's look at some. Well, first I have Mrs. Jurgens here and Parker does theirs a little bit different where it's part of the school website. And she has some nice links here of things, test practice, class schedule. She's the head girls basketball coach. She has that. Fun links, math links. She has good stuff. A little story here about her. What I like most is she has a nice headshot from the school pictures, her communication stuff. Uh, that's a good, uh, good sign there. There's some of the others. Uh, here's Mr. Hybertson. Uh, he too has excellent links here. Uh, this is a cool picture, but I still would much rather see a headshot, a current one from this school year here. So we always uh, get to see him, uh, lesson plans and stuff. Then let's jump over to Madison. Uh, I have a bunch of them here. And here uh, looks like this. And here is uh, Mr. Bruna, uh, which he was one of my students. And he chooses to be on a Google site. And look at all the cool links he has, stuff he uses. And you can tell he uses it uh, for communication. Here's his tweets. Uh, comes right in here and stuff. I'd like to see up here also his headshot and his communication stuff right here front and center. Now here, Mrs. Yonke has hers on a Weebly, uh, but again, she doesn't have a lot of links. She doesn't have a, a headshot here with her website, but nonetheless, uh, it looks like an effective uh, communication here. Uh, let's see what Mrs. Glenn has. Uh, a nice big page, not a lot of links, uh, not an image, but a, on a Google site. So whichever one, you do some searching and bring that back. Now the second one is a brochure. Create a brochure that you, can be seen online, but can also be printed and used. Include the information that was shared in the lecture and now resides in the clips and anything else about this. So here's an example. This one was done with Microsoft Publisher and then converted to a PDF for a lot of reasons. And she has a two-sided thing like this. And you would just print that out on both sides. And she made hers as a trifold. Now, the nice thing about PDFs, we can come up like this so we can see them. Now, on a paper one, links are virtually useless. You would be go crazy trying to type that in to see that. So that's very effective for um, web on your web page, and I wouldn't have the URL lay in here, of course. You know, I would link it. I would have it uh, clicked on links. But here's a cool front page with the colors and stuff, com uh, connecting stuff. And again, it would be all right uh, to have you, uh, the teacher's picture, your headshot in here like we did before. Uh, here's a nice note. It's really cool about conferences she sends to parents. And then down here, here is her stuff that we had in class. What are tips for parents for conferences? Things we may discuss, questions you may want to ask me, uh, questions that I may ask you, uh, those kinds of things. And it's straight out of our lecture notes. You can bring those right in because that's what you're communicating to parents is here's some things we're going to talk about. You may want to ask me about and you have that like that. And you can also link your sign up in here. And here is the fourth one. You create a sign up sheet for the sign up for a conference time. It has to be in real time. Now, what does real time means? You don't send a link to parents, uh, send a, 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 an attachment that says, here's the sign-up sheet, because as soon as they sign up, nobody can see it. You want them to sign up online. For example, I made mine in Google Sheets, and I went like this, okay? And I, this is not long enough. I have it in 15 minute increments. You've got to have longer than that. We had a conference one time where the teacher set the timer for 15 minutes. And that's what she has in here. And the brochure is kind of cool. Uh, she has down here, I guess here, um, you know, that we're going to have 30 minutes. So whatever you would take the time and, and figure out like how many conferences you have to do and how many days and how many hours available. Maybe instead of 30 minutes, it's 20 or 25, but allow as much as you can and then make this as user-friendly as possible so that a parent could do it on their phone. And also, of course, if somebody sends a note or tells you what time, you put their name in here so the rest of us can see it. 
and then you b block out things uh you know for example uh, you're, you're gonna be away for dinner just go like this uh you know put a thing like i'm not available during that time and then you would adjust this every semester uh, every conference that comes around and you could link you know, certainly and on this here uh, you would tell parents sign up for a time on my website and you could have the link here but also make sure that's clearly communicated uh, however you're delivering this to sign up online and then when you uh, you have certain parents that haven't signed up you text them or email them or send a note home and say sign up online or let me know and they will do that and make sure you have this setting right you have to have this so that they can get into it if it's set to private it doesn't work you don't want them to have to log in and Google has taken some nice steps to do that where you uh, make sure you set this to edit and then you copy this link and link it don't lay that when I say don't lay it like this uh, you copy this link uh, when you hit copy here you got it and now I come here uh, and I want to put it right here I don't want to see this URL here. I would rather see you link it. Okay, and you know how to link. For example, I want to link it here or any place you go like this. I want to insert um, this a link and I drop it in there and guess what? Now that's linked. But there's all different ways to do it and you, uh, you'll, you'll figure that out. But it has to be functional in that way. So you link on your page uh, to this and it's clearly marked so those three things for chapter 6 project